everybody welcome again to my channel the Chi Chi channel uh, yes my hair again we have the rollers in it <laughs> but this time you are going to be here as I am trying to take this thing down trying to get all pretty and all done up for y'all and today I'm going to talk about my relationship with color somebody asked a question about how I maintain the new growth of my locks and I use a latch hook my forehead should help you with the base. <laughs> so this is what I use. I use it to take care of the new growth. There are tons of videos on YouTube about how folks use this to, you know, kind of crochet in or weave in the new growth. There are tons of videos of that. But if you want that, uh, then I'll probably have to do it. <laughs> but it depends on what y'all want. Okay, so let's start the listening of my hair. And you will be here to see the final unveiling. This is the finished look, and um, yeah, hey, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I interlock my hair because that's the maintenance style I use interlocking. I don't palm roll, it's too thin to palm roll. Lock, this is what the lock looks like the size of the lock, it's much too thin to palm roll. So it's better to interlock and besides i prefer the interlock method because i can wash my hair and it does i'm not afraid of it being or of the lock unraveling after water gets on it and anything so i can interlock my hair and be done with it for the next hmm, six to ten weeks <laughs> sometimes even longer i have my notes here so that i don't do the rambling thing again i just go because i'm trying to pack a lot of information within the eight minutes that we have Okay, I grew up in southwest uh, Nigeria, Ibadan to be exact. Shout out to Ibadan folks and uh, mid middle class family. So you can be sure that we had a heavy influence, Western, especially African American influence. So I grew up uh, looking at the likes of Salt and Pepper, Mary J. Blige. So these were the kind of people that, you know, we were open to and we saw. And for me, a seed was planted as in, yeah, we could, you know, we could look different in university and all of that. I had my hair in twists and that way I was able to play around with color because, you know, color wasn't, wasn't something that people were doing as much. And especially where I was, the area where the city, where I was, Ibadan City, it wasn't something that everybody had. So the only way I could, you know, do that thing with color was to braid my hair and use different colors of extensions. As soon as I got a chance to color my hair, I used a lot of box dyes <laughs> to experiment to get the kind of color I wanted. And uh, like I said in my last video, I played and played and played around until my beautiful shoulder length hair got chopped off and I had to level the whole. Anyway, it's all, all, I told you all that in my last video. And I had to start from scratch. So uh, I started the locks and all of that. I got an opportunity to go to Canada to go, go back to school. Film school to be exact. Shout out to my Vancouver family. My husband really, really loves the whole black hair thing. Oh, he's like, why don't you just celebrate your black hair? You know, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm like, sure, baby. But uh, as soon as I got to Canada, oh, yeah, I can go play with that to my Hallelujah. So, and it was around that time, hmm, Sister Rihanna, <laughs> she came with this red hair. And I say, Sister, uh, I am listening to what you are telling me. I have to, you know what? Call on my hair like this. So, so quickly, I ran to the drugstore, bought the reddest red I could find. 
and uh, it came out looking like I don't know. You know that kind of thing where you only see the color when you're in the sun. Mm hmm. And it's one nonsense hue like that. I say this kind of thing is very stupid. Anyway, quick, I ran. Of course, you know that I ran back to the drugstore. I said, ah, oh, you know. And the thing is, where I was living, it wasn't like where black people were. It was so you know that most of the colors that were available in the drugstore were all this white. L'Oreal, blah, blah, blah. So, so the beautician that was in the beauty store was like, you know, uh, the only way you can get this kind of color is to bleach. I said, bleach? Yeah. So because you need to take out the black and so that the, your hair can, the color can take. Ah, I said, bleach? Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we tried the, I did, went back home. Ah, bleach? Eh? <laughs> and did a lot of research, tried to get Hmm, a lot of YouTube videos of girls who were talking about uh, bleaching their hair. Mm, mm, mm. So when I was like, eh, what's there? Let's go, y'all. Right to the doctor. But the, the bleach was L'Oreal Blondissima. Now, that product right there, that product is the truth. Yes. So we did a thing. I put retail on my hair. I cover, you know, now heat and all that. And uh, I just said, okay, let me just check and see, you know, in between, because you don't want the hair to be yellow like it is or the purple of the something. I looked at this, ah, it was like coloring like orange. I said, okay, 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 it's okay, like this is okay. Like, I watched it, I showed pictures, I watched it, I'm like, okay. So from then, I started using um, the L'Oreal Blondissima and that one. The only thing I experienced with the whole Blondissima thing was dryness. I didn't experience any shedding. It was it was just beautiful for my hair. So and I would touch up the roots every every eight weeks, eight to nine weeks, and all of that. So that was what I was doing, and it was perfect. Until one day, and I said, "Oh, you know what? Let us try another product." Mm. So I went to the Garnier. I will put it there. They should come and beat me. I mean, my house. I will put it there. The Garnier, okay, what way? The Garnier, and uh here -huh, bleach something. I said, let me just, you know, just, you know, shake things up. Let's try a different thing. True to form, the thing gave me this beautiful yellow, golden, and everything. Until I begin to see my hair on my dress. Yes, my hair begin to shed. I was the parking it on the floor as if it was. You know, confetti. Huh? <laughs> you know, and the hair for a very long time I had to deal with that whole shedding thing. It was terrible. I would like anyhow my hair finally forgave me and